Hi, my name is John and this is Business Update. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about Netflix plan to expand their business by offering games. Well, actually, they've, they've already tried doing that, uh, but to little success. And now their aim is to create a AAA title that will convince gamers to use to, to play the game and use their platform as their uh, as their basis of sorts. Now, if it's going to pan out, that's another difficult case here and obviously uh, it's not the only they're not the only one who has considered doing this by expanding their business from what they're known for as a streaming platform services to now offering games in their platform well google comes to mind well they're known for you know their search engine then they have youtube for content creation and then now they're trying to uh uh, delve into the gaming industry which they have failed miserably with Google Stadia so not to suggest because you're a big company uh, you have the resources doesn't mean you'll get the desired results if you don't get it right in terms of obviously investing a lot of money to, to, to let your business grow and in the case of getting the right people and the right content you know the types of games to, to entice gamers uh, we, we'll get mediocre results here and in, in the case here uh, uh, according to IGN.com, uh, it mentions here that Netflix appears to be developing a AAA PC shooter at a new game studio now. Obviously, when they say AAA title, uh, it's supposed to be the top tier game, but that's not always the case here. You know, Bethesda doing a terrible job at, uh, uh, at the, uh, what do you call this? Uh, what was this game that they have? something 76 let's see here what's the title of that game i forgot the test the game the test the game let's see what are the games that they have here crap i forgot the yeah fallout 76 i keep forgetting the title <laughs> So, you know, uh, for Bethesda, the, the, the debacle that is uh, Fallout 76, and then you have Cyberpunk from, you know, uh, from the makers of the Witcher series, uh, not necessarily AAA game title, necessarily equate to the best uh, game here, you know. Uh, Sometimes they take advantage of their popularity, and then you know they they miss the mark here. But anyway, going back to Netflix here, we were just talking about last week, where in uh, streaming services like Apple is trying to compete with the uh, major powerhouse like such as uh, Disney Plus as well as Netflix here. And in the case of Netflix, they're and you know, obviously they still have a stranglehold at being the number one streaming services here. But obviously they can't be complacent since a lot of companies are trying to make grounds or even surpass uh, the, the the market share that Netflix has. And one of their goals and concern obviously is diversifying their business by offering other services such as you know movies and content creation here by offering uh, games in this case. But uh, obviously uh, how to implement that is a tricky situation obviously the people who view their content for for movies and tv series is not the same as uh, the gaming connoisseur so to speak so enticing those gamers to use their platform would be a daunting task here and obviously it has to start with one tremendous game an original one so that uh, they have monopoly on that particular game and obviously getting the <laughs> excuse me the best and brightest people for the job would be a tantamount requirement here. So if you were to look closer here, it mentioned here uh, uh, what's concerning, you know, exciting, but concerning is they want a live service element, here, which I think is a big mistake for them. If they really want to, to grab market share in terms of, you know, enticing gamers to play their game, uh, it has to be compelling. And obviously shooting type of game like, you know, Halo, Overwatch, Fortnite, and the games of that nature, or even Call of Duty, uh, is very compelling. Case it's very popular for a particular segment, but the question is, is it a sustainable one? And obviously, you have to get the right people to to develop those games to be successful here. Why not create a single story, short, short, uh, short game that people will talk about and start from one game then build another one and another one and another one and obviously you need to have someone at uh, at the helm to 
to have that direction and obviously when developing a particular type of game take some time to, to develop and not to necessarily always will be a hit right away uh, obviously with minimal resources or investment of resources but getting maximum return will always be ideal not decide throwing tens of or hundreds of millions of dollars just to, uh, to 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 say that you've invested in the gaming industry and and having nothing to show for it, which is kind of miserable if that were to happen here which obviously Netflix doesn't want to do here now it mentions here that uh, Netflix appears to be developing a triple A PC shooter as mentioned at its new Los Angeles studio led by former Overwatch producer and Blizzard Vice President Chaco Sunny, which is kind of concerning because if he came from Blizzard, obviously Blizzard, Activision Blizzard has been involved with controversy with regards to its toxic work-like culture uh, for, 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 for the past few years is you know, pretty alarming here. But let's assume that the uh, the, the the person, Mr. Sunny here, uh, is not partly at fault here. But the question here is, does he bring the the the, the knowledge, the the direction needed, the leadership required to be able to steer a new company, uh, or in this case, division of Netflix, to be able to create a successful gaming uh, gaming aspect for for Netflix here now. Obviously, uh, offering the live service, I, I don't know about if it's going to, you know, be able to do it. The fact is, creating one game is one thing, but monetizing for live service is is another, which is kind of concerning. Because uh, I'd rather they focus on creating a tremendous game first, typically a single player type of game, then expand on it, and then if you want to monetize it, offer a live service game. But you know, many of the live service games you know being produced by many game studios has been a paltry at best obviously a cash grab and obviously you know as consumers players you have the option of not to play it and waste your time on it until they can rectify their their business strategy that you know i've not i've not nothing against you know for companies trying to monetize their games if it's a compelling one but you know if you think of elden ring as a good example you pay the full price sticker price of the game and have a compelling case and latest game god of war ragnarok you don't have to there's no microtransactions involved and yet you get to enjoy the game tremendously and there there's a, a, a slew of other games that you know you can enjoy tremendously and you will have a a core following of, of, of gamers and whatnot and if you produce uh, a sequel of that or a continuation of that game people will continue buying that game and i think you know uh not necessarily offering the game for free but uh like a subscription like how uh microsoft game pass does you pay on top of it if you want to play uh, uh superior games enjoyable games i think i or a any other subscribers would be willing to pay for that and you know similar to how steam has capitalized on that uh trend so imagine netflix has a wider catalog than just of games uh movies content and then they can merge that based on the popular game they can create content for their steam services or that steam services uh based on that idea original content they can create a, a, a separate game that is you know they're intertwined and that would be an interesting endeavor right and they have the resources to do that but the question is will they uh do the right thing that is you know obviously compelling case for the uh, viewer or the gamers here uh, only time can tell if they're able to to you know to be they're able to 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 uh, come through for the gamers come through for the viewers of what we clamor of what we want obviously it, it, you know if they dig some research you know it's very easy to 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 appease or to entertain the the, the viewers here nothing of the nothing of the sort of hidden agenda that they want to do but it, you know not every not e or not everyone everyone's trying to be like activision or even ea where they want to pinch every centavo from individuals whether through ethical or unethical means here but that's only my opinion anyhow a anyway uh that concludes our discussion again for today come back again on wednesday for more business update uh so always continue supporting the channel so if you enjoy watching these types of content don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or you may share it with other people if you enjoy this content or you can check out my other contents here uh as always we're trying to get closer to 1000 subscribers here now i know i've been uh 
uh, been advertising it for so long. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel and thank you for your continued support. And for those who are new to the channel, welcome to the uh, to, to the channel and hopefully uh, uh, we can create more contents uh, in the future here. Anyway, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.